Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to City Skylines. I'm your other host, Galvin. So, today we're going to be upping our edumacations. Well, one, we need a new high school. Even in the thick of this, this is not enough of them, I guess. We have two in each region. This region, I guess, needs another, though. There we go. And now... We're going to, uh, put firmly down. Yeah, that's too tight to build. Okay, all that there. Our very first university, which gives us a capacity of 4,500. That's uh, pretty, uh, much covers that. Spent most of our money doing that, but that's good. Because the university allows us to zone offices. Educated, yes, make sure you have a university in the area. So, we need university educated workers for this. Which is perfectly fine. We're going to get to work here. I, I know it's not even uh, perpendicular, but I don't care. All right, I, I'm getting over my issues, shall we say, where everything must be perpendicular. I'm doing my best. Why the fuck is that curved? I want that curve. I want that straight. I want that as a reference point. It's strange to be curving it. At any rate, that's fine. Good. Not really at all. It's terrible. For some reason you can't make a proper uh, proper reference here. I'll do it at the other end then. Okay. There. We'll be able to draw a reference line between them. Like so. Only in terribleness do I realize that the same rules that I used on that residential district can be applied to, uh, say, an office district. Industry or offices. Alright, that's probably enough of a district. Come on now. You're not going to need that much. Christ, I hope not, anyway. And... Okay, droop. Okay. Okay, down. There we are. Now, we just need to run the water through it, run some power to it, and Bob's your uncle. Have an office district. There we are. This should hopefully be all the offices we will ever need. Ever. Should probably also get electricity. It's probably, in fact, very overkill. But that's okay. There is demand for it, so hopefully it'll appear. But yeah, that's okay. Why would you... I don't know. 
I don't know why the hell you would be building out there. Alright, I guess we have to accommodate idiocy. Power runs up alongside it. I don't know why there isn't enough electricity. Is there just not okay? There's just not enough electricity. That's why there's not enough electricity. All right, we're actually gonna take a loan on this one since we have a uh, decent quantity of income. Take a 200 grand loan. That'll hurt us a little bit, but it's okay. And we're gonna actually build a solar plant, which is odd for me. Um, but to be fair, uh, we don't really have a problem with it. It does create noise pollution, but that's okay. Each one of these is 160 megawatts. So put bluntly, toss down a couple of these, and we actually don't need any of our uh, coal power plants anymore that we've had scattered throughout our industrial district. Some of which are actually out of fuel. Oh, those are incinerators. So we'll just re uh, rezone all this. More room for our strong, powerful industry. Good. That's a crematorium. It tried to zone the crematorium as industry. All right. Hmm. <laughs> And overall, I think we're in good shape here. Now we have all the electricity we need. 330 some odd megawatts is whatever. I mean, these are actually far cheaper to run. Like 1,200 a week uh, versus 560 a week. That produces 40 megawatts. This produces 160. So that's four coal power plants worth for one point. Like two <laughs> times the price. It's totally worth it. Solar, solar power is good here. It's actually going to save us a lot in the long run. It produces small amounts of noise pollution, so it's whatever, but still. It costs a lot. Yeah, it's a, it's a fairly sizable initial investment. But uh, I'm working towards the nuclear power plant, which 8,000 a week uh, at 640 megawatts. Uh, let's see, that's 320, 640, so four of those. No, actually, solar plants are just better. Solar plants better than nuclear. I don't believe that at all. That's bullshit. Sol There's no way a nuclear plant is actually better than solar. Like, IRL at least. Uh, 2,400 per chop. Uh, 4,800 for 640. That produces 640. Yeah, it takes up a little space, I guess, but still. And then we have the hydropower plant. Which... Maybe, I guess, we could build here. It's the only place with any real strong currents. Maybe here? That's my production, zero megawatts. Get 32 megawatts there, that's pretty shitty actually. Alright. Overall though, not bad, not bad. New electrical system. We still have some demand for industry. This area is just dying. We kind of did sacrifice it. So I'm not surprised. Office buildings operating normally. Building needs to be covered by more services. I'm going to roughly assume it means this.
Okay. Okay. Uh, fire, perhaps? How about Paparinos? Building needs to be covered by more services. What new services? I just gave you pretty much everything. I guess you're not covered by garbage services or something, are you? No level up info available. Well, you're covered by garbage, so that's... What else is there, then? What, do you have to have schooling in your area? That'd be really dumb. Okay, requiring schooling would be extremely silly. Bill needs to be covered by more services. Yeah, what possible service would you need here? I'm guessing maybe a landfill. That's, that's the best I can come up with. Does that help? Do. What if I were to just drop an elementary school? Did that actually... Whoops. Back, back, back. I didn't mean to blow up that office for an elementary school. I just wanted to test. Alright, you've got 8 out of 8 workers. It did win up, didn't it? Watch I do this. Do I seriously need to cover my office with schools? What the hell? There's something. No, it didn't go down. So schools aren't required. Busing, perhaps? Bus depot doesn't actually cover anything. Yeah, maybe public transport would alleviate some of my problems. I just... Not enough goods to sell. Alright, so we have a bus depot now. I'm hoping that transportation counts as a, quote, service. Alright. At a stop. Okay, you, you can get over here, good. Really? That's the fastest? Well, alright. Seems to make everyone happy. I just have one giant line. And just the buses run the entire thing. I mean, that's cheaping out on it, but damn, this is a lot of work to figure out. And I will probably do it at a later date. That is to say, its own episode, probably, for a system this complex. Complete the line. So, bus depot. All right. I don't know. Hey, we got up to level two. <laughs> what more surfaces could I possibly cover with it? Not enough goods to sell. Yeah. Attract wealthier customers. Okay. I honestly don't know what possible services. I mean, I guess a crematorium, right? That's a that's a service. Technically. I got some of them to upgrade, didn't I? Yeah. So the crematorium was worth some points. And you know what? I don't even I don't even know. I... getting these to upgrade is going to be tricky. 
I don't know, maybe there are services I have yet to figure out. I also have these that I need to consider. Requirement for building the space elevator. At some point, I'll figure out monuments, but I need to get to 80,000 for those. These are weird, unique buildings that you can build. Cathedral of Plentitude. Construct all city service buildings. 13 out of 20. Which is in the population is highly educated. Construct a harbor. Three instances of universities. Jeez. Those are some tough, uh, tough cookies, huh? An aquarium. Yeah, we need a lot more commercial zone for that. But hey, we're getting there. We're getting there. Did we lose a bunch of people at some point while well, I wasn't paying attention? It's highly possible. No. I think we're going for capital right now, right? Okay. Yeah, we are. Alright. Well, either way, it's time to end today's episode. So thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, this has been your lovely, lovely host, Galvin, signing off.